Um, but one of our guests, or one of our uh, television viewers across the country introduced us to uh, Marvin Slossman from Inspire MD. Inspire MD, they are publicly traded under the, under the stock symbol NSPR. Uh, he's the CEO of the company. We got a chance to talk to him, uh, and, and uh, we want to bring him because we had such a good response from this type of thing. We thought we'd bring him uh, on the air with us. Hey, Marvin, thanks for joining us today. Great to have you, man. Oh. Thank you guys. Thanks for having me back. I appreciate it. Well, I love listen, that website it, picture. We, we got so when we had, you know, when we had, we, we I was telling Russ, and we have Steve Forbes on. We got like six emails. We had Marvin Slossman on last time. Uh oh. And like 45 emails. Crashed our server, dude. Well, mainly because apparently cardioid, uh, cardioid artery disease <laughs> is more prevalent than we anticipate. Can you give us a top down, Marvin, of what's going on with you guys and, and, and sort of the space that you're in for the people that didn't get you last time? Well, thanks, guys. I, I think um, our storyline has is, is remained consistent. We are all about preventing stroke and managing uh, carotid artery disease in a very different way. We are trying to convert um, what is probably the last open surgical procedure to a much more simplified patient-friendly endovascular procedure by way of a stent technology called SeaGuard. And the novel approach to, to how we, we, uh, we go about doing this is we cover the stent with a micronet mesh on the outside. Yeah, remember this here? Remember this? Uh, I do, and it's reminding me of a plumbing situation. Uh, that <laughs> No, they take the existing pipes and they go in there with some kind of thing and they kind of fix the pipe. I don't know. That's just the first thing I think of when he's explaining how this works. Well, no, it's true. Continue for us, Mark. That's, that's, a, that's a fantastic analogy because the, the pipes you have in your body are virtually no different than what you have in your home. So They're we're, lead. We're <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to provide uh, you know, that catalyst to keep the pipes open and clear. But what happens in normal stenting procedures that are uncovered, that don't have this mesh uh, around the outside of the stent, is you have post-procedural events that cause strokes. Because this uh, plaque that you're trying to hold against the artery wall breaks off and goes free and ends up in your brain and cause, causes uh, strokes to occur. Wow. So we think the novelty of our device is quite unique and we're attempting to change the standard of care uh, by which carotid artery disease is managed. And we think um, our data is certainly supportive of the fact that we've got a superior technology here. So, well, well, so uh, well you, you must, Marvin, because you raised 21 million bucks. <laughs> I mean, that, that, we, is, is that a vote of confidence or what? We, we certainly did, and, and we were thrilled to have, um, have the opportunity to do that, to bring new investors into the company, and it was oversubscribed, in fact. And, and so we think that's a good proxy to the fact that we're headed in, in the right direction. And, um, you know, now we need to put our heads down and execute and perform. But uh, so far, things are great. We, uh, we added a new, a new agreement to our portfolio to enter China um, with a distributor partner there who invested about $900,000 into the company as a part of that agreement. So uh, on balance, we, we're, really, we're really thrilled by our prospects and, and opportunities to, to create value and flexion wow. for the company. Marvin, let's talk a little bit about the FDA arc, uh, how that's going and, and, and what you anticipate moving forward with the FDA and, and how it's been, because obviously FDA's had their hands full for the last year. And I know that FDA's done a good job of doing both. FDA's done a good job of not only paying attention to, to COVID, but also paying attention to guys like you. So as I mentioned in our last discussion, uh, remarkably, the FDA is, is, um, is moving great product through the pipeline very efficiently. We got our approval several months ago. We've assembled what I consider to be the dream team to go execute on our FDA trial. We've added Chris Metzger, an interventional cardiologist who is um, probably the leading, car leading carotid stenting guy in the country to be our principal investigator. Gary Rubin, who is, um, who, who is one of the best cardiologists known, is on our board of directors. And I think the combination of having uh, great investigators, great sites, and we are now well-funded uh, based on our last fundraise, I think um, we'll we'll um, we'll move forward on this trial with with great optimism to get uh, approval in the U.S. market. Um, and, and of course, Marvin Slossman, CEO of Inspire MD. Uh, where do you think you're at here over the next six months to 18 months as we're coming out of COVID? Does that affect you guys at all with respect to getting uh, into uh, operating rooms and, and into uh, into patients? Well, we're, we're already seeing an, uh, an improvement. As you know, we're in 33 countries around the world. We've not yet gotten into the U.S. market, but that gives us a lot of diversification. Each of those markets is, is very different as it relates to the COVID response, but elective procedures are not going away. So it's, it's simply an issue of timing. And we believe that uh, these procedures are beginning to become more and more uh, frequent and the patients uh, certainly need the procedure. So we're looking forward to a, 
to an optimistic uh, yeah. next few months. Uh, can, I, can I ask you something? Uh, you, you've mentioned this before, and I forgot what you said. Is stroke number one or is, meta, is heart disease number one? I think they're one and two, aren't they, with respect to medical risk? Yeah, heart disease is is uh, is still number one, but but you know the lack of symptoms when it comes to stroke um, is really problematic, and the debilitation, either death, paralysis, other you know serious issues uh, caused by stroke, really kind of put it at the top of the list in my mind because preventing those things from occurring is is really what we're all about, and our technology. Um, is hopefully going to change the way that uh, that strokes are managed. Yeah, at the at the at the same time, for you guys, uh, moving forward um, as a company, um, you know what I'd like to see here is is for more people to know about you because you know a company like yours, your, your biggest challenge sometimes is not just the business side; it's about the world knowing about you guys. And I think it's 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 good that you're out there telling the story. Talk about uh, talk about China because uh, China is a big piece of what you guys are doing. Yeah, so, so we have a distributor partner there that's going to handle the regulatory effort. They invested, as I said, $900,000 into the into the company as a part of the agreement. And um, the, the entire Asian market is, is a real greenfield opportunity for us because unlike other markets in the world, their predominance is stenting now. So we're not converting as many surgeries over to stenting as we are in Europe and in the U.S. Um, they are a, a, a stent-focused um, uh, part of the world, and so we we feel like that the technology play here uh, will work quite well within those markets, and we believe that this is one of a number of of deals that we're we're in the process of putting together in Asia. Um, and 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 for you guys, uh, Marvin, I guess the question would be: Are we sticking with this one vertical? Or are there other things in your pipeline? Yeah, so so um, you know we're all about cerebral protection, and and we're considering other options and alternatives um, that, that play to that. But I think overall, embolic protection uh, with Micronet is is our our fundamental key attribute, and uh, cerebral protection overall has a, a much broader uh, view than uh, than just carotid stenting. So we're exploring lots of of options for for both delivery system as well as um, how we protect uh, our stand technology. His name is Marvin Slossman. He is the CEO of Inspire MD. Uh, their stock symbol NSPR. They are publicly traded on NAS uh, NYSE Market System. And you can, for our TV audience, That's you can cool. see the website right there, which is inspiremd.com. For our radio audience, we'll put it out to our 140,000 uh, social media followers now because uh, we can get the word out there. Marvin, I hope you come back with us. I'd love to, I'd love to continue the conversation because um, it's nice to know that old guys like us. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like you're, you're, feeling, you're, you're feeling better. I'm going for a little you're, pastrami you're not, sandwich. Yeah, you're not, you might have some steak and a couple yeah. of eggs today hey. coming up. All what right, very good.